Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Uh, I am very stressful. Why very stressful? For because my job is hard. Ah, and what is your job, Lisette? I am a treasurer in a financial institution. You are a what? Treasurer. Uh, la tesorera. <laughs> la que? Tesorera. Good, good. A pronunciation? Tre. Treasurer. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and is for a bank or you are the treasurer of uh, a company or what? It, uh, Caja de Credito. Uh, credit Union. Credit Union. Credit. Credit Union. Union. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. How do you say Caja de Credito? Credit Union. Okay. So, so. Only the pronunciation. Let me put in the chat so that way you can see. Okay. Okay, the name is Credit Union. Ah, Credit Union. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right, let's see who else we have. Ah, uh, we have a new partner, Angelica and Diana. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Diana. Hello, Hello teacher. How are you? I'm not very fine, but thanks for asking. Are you sick, Angelica? I think so. Oh, no. What are the symptoms? I have a headache mm -hmm. and a, a, a cough. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Headache, a cough, no fever? No, fever, no. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Well, I hope you feel better and are taking lots of water to recover. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay. And Diana and Wendy, how are you? I'm great, teacher. I am fine. I'm not I'm not sick. I'm not tired. <laughs> I'm okay. fine. Good. Thanks. Good. All right. And you, Wendy, how are you? Okay. Maybe Wendy having is hello, Wendy. Hello. Okay. There you go, Wendy. <laughs> so, Wendy, how are you? I write and I I write I get come for my job. Okay, okay, no problem. I understand that you work. It's difficult Thank sometimes you. to balance the class yes. and the work and the family. And terrible for traffic. Mm hmm And also for traffic, correct. Well, my name is Edwin. And if you are in the WhatsApp group, you can see I say hello. Remember the WhatsApp group is the link is in the email. The email for connecting to the class is the same email to connect to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Good. This is the level is intermediate one. Okay. So here we have intermediate module one, and we are going to have five sections we're going to have sections one two and three that is going to complete this week 
and next week. And then we're going to have sections four and five, okay? So what do you do? Well, in each section, is necessary to complete the, the parts that have a little notebook. The notebook are here, the knowledge check. All of the units have a knowledge check. As an example here, we have one, two, three, four, five. This means that there are going to be five grades for this unit. Unit one is going to have five evaluations. Is different, each one, but always you're going to have a little video and the objective, you see? Uh, objective, video, check. Objective, video, and check. To check your grades, you're going to click on progress. In progress, you are going to see the week, for example, section one. We can see we have one, two, three, four, five, activities that are necessary is necessary minimum here is necessary minimum 81 you need to have 81 or more to pass if you do not have 81 it's necessary again do the activities so that you can have minimum 80. any questions No question. No. Okay. Good. And then also we have two exams. We have exam midterm is complete section three, then midterm. And we have exam final exam. What is the difference? The difference is midterm is only the exam units one, two, and three but the final exam is unit one, two, three, four, and five, is all of the units. Okay. Any questions in the, the minimum, the grade? No teacher. Okay, let no, me, no, thank you. no, perfect. Let's check and then we begin. Okay, so first, how many units do we have? Five units? Correct, five units. And is necessary in each unit complete? What is, ob what is necessary? What is obligation to complete in each unit? No, let's check. Excellent, is knowledge check. If you don't come to class, it's okay. If you work fast, it's okay. If you work slow, mm, it's so-so, but it's obligation, the knowledge check, okay? So first, okay, everyone have access to the platform? Yes, no problem. With the platform, do you have access? No problem. No problem, okay, okay, good. Then let me share the screen so we can begin. Today we are going to begin in unit 1.0, okay? This is section one, okay? Lisette, Lisette, can you please read the objective? Okay, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using what word and various regular and irregular verbs. Yes, I was born Korea. I grew, grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak, speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask an hour question in the past tense. 
this conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background and greater the time and get to know people. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lisette. Very nice. Good effort. I like. Only we need to practice this pronunciation. This pronunciation, the word is able. 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 Mm -hmm. You'll be okay. able. Okay. So the objective is we are going to use the past. This is the activity for today. The past with regular and irregular verbs. This is the objective. So what is the difference between a regular and an irregular verb? Hi, everyone. By the end of this. What is the difference? Anybody know the difference between regular and irregular? The past. The pa Diana, what? Uh, I'm not sure, but if I'm right, then the regular verbs are the one who we can use the ing form. No. No, no, no. Plus? No. No, or all, all you use ing. But oh, okay. It, no, no, but it's good. It's good you try. Good. It's good effort. Okay. Okay. What is the idea? What is the anybody else have another idea? The regular and irregular? This four is different in past. Is different in past. Okay, good. The irregular for the regular have different spelling. The regular finish with E D. E D. Okay. Always we complete with ED. The irregular, no, the irregular change. We change the writing. For example, when you have eat, when you eat the food, this is irregular because when you put in past, what is the past of eat? Eight. Correct. This is irregular. It's different the spelling. When you have a regular verb, only you put ed. For example, regular verb, play, played. Okay. I played video games or I called my mom. This is regular verbs. So, so. Okay, so now we have the idea. Regular, ED. Irregular, change the spelling. Now we have different forms in the past tense. Let's look at different auxiliaries in the past. Here, you see, we have two different auxiliaries. We have here, let's have... Um, uh, Angelica, Angelica, can you please read the questions? And Diana, can you please read the answers? All the questions. Yes, please. And Diana, all the answers. Okay. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Argentina. Were you born in Buenos Aires? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. I was born in Cordoba. When did you move to Los Angeles? I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Did you take English classes in Argentina? Yes, I did. I took classes for a year. No, I didn't. My aunt taught me at home. Okay, thank you very much. If you see, we have two forms in the past. One form is did, and one form is were or was. Were or was is different than did, is different function. For example, we use was or were 
when we talk about, let me put in the chat to help you. When we talk about professions, when we talk about locations, or when we talk about descriptions. Okay. We use did when we talk about actions. Or another way is verbs. Okay. So is correct. Were you born? Okay. Were you born in Santa Ana? In San Miguel? In La Union? Because born, no action. So we put, were you born? For the location, were you born in? And then we can say, for example, Santa Ana. Okay, this is for location. Then we can use profession. Okay, were you, as an example, were you a student? Ah, okay. This is a profession or a description. Were you happy? Were you happy yesterday? So we see was or were is three for professions, locations, descriptions. Was is for he, she, and it. It's for singular. He, she, and it. Okay. Did is always the activity, but did is in the present. The verb is in the present. For example, did you eat pupusas today? Okay. Or yesterday? Okay. Did you watch Netflix? Okay. Netflix last week. Okay. It's okay the difference with was, were, and did? Remember in the chat, here in the chat, you can see the examples. Any questions? No teacher. Okay. It's important because in this moment we are going to practice. We are going to practice making questions and making answers. Okay. In questions, we understand in the chat is the examples. And the answers is the same. Only if you have negative answers. For example, we can also have WH questions. For example, what did you eat today? What did you uh, eat yesterday? Uh, when did you watch Netflix? Where did you go on vacation? Okay, these are the different questions with when, where, what. These are WH questions. Let's take a look. Why do we use what? Okay, we have many WH questions. We have what? Where, when, how, and which, why? Okay, let's review. What is what? Why do we use what? Marisol, why do we use what? Mm -hmm. Vanessa Ramirez, why do we use what? Mm. No, Vanessa Ramirez. Okay, Vanessa Carolina yeah. Rivera. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, why do we use what? 
I was in San Salvador. Okay, but the question, what? Okay. Why do we use what? What? Mm -hmm. Guys, you can look in the chat. Look in the chat. You see. Oh, es que no puedo escribir. Estaba intentando y no puedo. No, no, you don't have to write. Oh. You can speak, oh. Vanessa. It's okay. But why, what? No? No. Okay. It's okay, Vanessa. We use what for general information? Oh. What is for general information? With the notebook, the paper, write the information, general information. Why do we use where? Where is for? Marlon, why do we use where? Location. Oh, very good, Eric. Nice, it's for location. Good. Uh, Kevin, why do we use when? Kevin, why do we use when? Time. Ah, excellent. Ah, when is for time? Monica, why do we use how? Why do we use how? Okay, no Monica. Okay, all right. Mm, we use how for process, for explanation. Okay. okay. What about which? Okay, let's see. Um, Marisol, why do we use which? Marisol? Yes, no Marisol? No, okay, don't worry, it's okay. We use which for options? Which is for options, okay? And Vanessa Carranza, why? Or what is the question why? Vanessa Carranza? Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Why? What is the function why? For the explication. Excellent, Eric. Very good. It's for the explanation or the reason. Look in the chat. If you don't know, look in the chat and put in your notebook. It's necessary that you know the WH. What, where, when, how, which, why. It's necessary you understand how to make the questions. In this moment, you are going to make the question, what? where, when, how, which, why, for your partner. You need to make six questions. Where, uh, what, why, in the past. Remember, two forms in the past. Action, did, no action. Location, profession, description is, the question is were, okay, or was. But for you is were. Example, the question with where, ah, where 
were you born? This is question with where. This is where. Now question with did, okay? Where did you study mm -hmm. high school? Uh, do you understand? Is two questions. One question with where, one question with did. Where, when, why, how, which, okay? And for what? It's okay or not okay, the instructions? It's okay. Okay. Let me, let me pause. Okay, let me pause so that we can have an idea. Okay. Veo que muchos tienen mucho temor a hablar encender la cámara, veo que para encender la cámara están bien temorosos, eh, del pelo mechudo, de que no se bañaron, tranquilos, no pasa nada, no hay ningún problema, pero ya que todos tienen la reacción, por ejemplo, aquí, <ríe> lo vamos a estar utilizando, eso me indica que están poniendo atención y me indica que sí entendieron, entonces, vamos a practicarlo ahorita, todos, cualquiera que que quieren poner cualquier uh, animación. Quiero ver una animación en la cuestión de todos. Excelente, ya que no tienen la cámara encendida. Muchas gracias, Vanessa Caranza. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Vanessa Carolina, Wendy. Good, Eric. Good, Lisette. Good, Vanessa. Good, Angélica. Good, Mónica. Thank you, Marlon. Ah, excelente, Marisol. Y solo faltó una persona. Entonces, lo que voy a hacer es a esta persona, Kevin, are you there? Hey, hey, there you go, Kevin. Excelente. Ok, entonces, independientemente si encienden o no encienden el micrófono, cuando yo le pregunte, do you understand any questions? Y a usted le quedó claro, es su obligación poner un símbolo si no quieren encender la cámara. ¿Por qué? La idea de la cámara es así. Imagínense cómo sienten ustedes cuando estamos hablando y tengo yo la cámara apagada. ¿Cómo es la interacción entre nosotros? ¿Cree que tuviera una buena clase con la cámara apagada o tuviera una mejor clase con la cámara encendida? Con la cámara encendida. Sí, pero no la han hecho. Entonces, si ustedes sienten mejor con la cámara encendida, ¿cómo creen que sintieran los demás compañeros? Excellent, Lisette. Qué chula. All right. Thank you so much, Lisette. Diana, so beautiful. Excellent, Vanessa. Y ese guapochón, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es ese gran muchachón allí? Excellent. All right. Eh, oh, handsome, handsome son. Uh -huh. Excelente. Los que tienen la cámara. Excellent. There you go, Wendy. Ah, lo primero que Wendy. Ay, y mi pelo. Ay, y la... Ah, no, es excellent, Wendy. Relax. Relax. No tengan pena. Ok. Ustedes están en su casa. Deben de estar cómodos. Deben de tener la cámara encendida para sentirse la confianza de poder equivocarse. ¿Qué es lo que pasa cuando tenemos la cámara apagada? Nos va creando esa... Y, cuestión mental de que, ay, no, 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 ese temor, ay, no, no, pero cada vez que nosotros estamos ganando más confianza, es más fácil hablar con alguien. Por ejemplo, si Wendy no me entiende, aunque yo estoy hablando, pero yo veo a Wendy, y yo ya veo la cara de Wendy, yo sé que me entendió, no, sin embargo, ni idea si Angélica, Eric, Mónica, Marisol, Vanessa Ramírez, Vanessa Carranza, Marlon o Kevin entendieron o no entendieron, ¿verdad? Por eso es que necesitamos mantener las cámaras encendidas. Yo entiendo, algunos están usando el celular y los datos se las acaban, no tienen internet en la casa. Está perfectamente bien. Si eso es el caso, acuérdense, ¿cuál va a ser la obligación? Usar las reacciones. Por ejemplo, 
is okay. Any questions? Any question? Okay, no questions. Mm -hmm. Fíjese que pregunté y solo Angélica in, entendió la indicación con Marisol. Si no van a tener la cámara encendida, tenemos que usar, tenemos que haber una forma de haber la comunicación para saber que todos estamos entendiendo. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Marlon. Hey, hey, me llega, me llegan, se ponen a poner la camisa. Hey, chivo, pero sin pantalones. Está bien, yo no los veo. Tranquilo, bichos. Nadie va a saber. All right, excellent. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, Kevin. There you go. Okay. Hey, ahí vamos, poco a poco. Vane, excellent. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. No se preocupen. Aquí todos estamos para aprender. Nadie se va a burlar de nadie porque no lo voy a permitir. Ese es un lugar donde podemos cometer errores. Y de hecho, cometer los errores es sumamente importante porque es el proceso de aprendizaje. Uno sabe que está haciendo el esfuerzo. El proceso de aprendizaje, aprendizaje requiere cometer errores. ¿Ok? Yes. Excelente, Angélica. Ya entendiste. Yo no veo a Marisol. Vanessa y Kevin, ¿qué pasó? No tienen las cámaras. Tengo que estar viendo a cada ratito esos símbolos. Hey, ok. All right. There we go. There we go. Uh -huh. Hey, Mané, me, me gusta. Bien rosadita el cuarto. Debe ser tuyo. All right. Exactly. Uh -huh. Perfect. Ok. Ahora, ¿entendieron cómo hacemos las preguntas? ¿Entendieron para qué funciona cada cosa, cada palabra de WH? Ya que tenemos la cámara encendida, solo tienen que ser así. Yes, Ajá. Pero si me hacen así, es como que... Yes, mm, no estoy seguro. ¿Qué pensás vos, Vanessa Ramírez? Mm. Sí, no, nos quedó claro, sí, más o menos. Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Ok. Entonces, vamos a ver si es cierto. Eric, ¿cuántas preguntas tenemos que hacer? Um, five questions. Five questions. Qué chivo. Eso sería bien chivo. Pero no. Es más. All right. Let's see. Marlon, how many questions? Miren en el chat. En el chat les puse la cantidad de WH. Seven questions. Questions. How many questions? Seven questions. Ah, oh, seven questions. Vamos, vamos llegando, vamos llegando casi. No, no. No, no. Nine questions. Nine questions. Uh, nos estamos acercando. Uh -huh. Hoy ya se están asustando. Uh -huh. Ya veo, ya veo la cara de asustado de que me perdí un montón de preguntas porque no entendía el teacher cómo dijo que porque ya estamos llegando a nueve y yo pensé que solo eran cinco. <ríe> It's 12 questions, 12. Y teacher, ¿de dónde sacó tantas preguntas que me lo perdí? Ah, miremos el último ejemplo. Van a hacer una pregunta con el WH, por ejemplo, where. Y de where, vamos a hacer una pregunta con was or were y una pregunta con did para que entendamos la diferencia de cuando usamos where y cuando usamos did. El ejemplo es where were you born? Ah, hice una pregunta con where y con where, pero después me toca otra pregunta con where, pero usando la palabra did. Por ejemplo, where Did you study high school? Este proceso lo voy a hacer con todas las palabras que aparecen allí. What, where, when, how, which, why, que serían un total de 12 preguntas usando una vez where y una vez did. Yes? Maybe. Y venimos a trabajar, sí o sí. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's work. Let's work. In this moment, we are in groups. 
les voy a dar 15 minutos para que trabajen con el compañero y después mmm, lo voy a tener hasta con cronómetro que me digan las preguntas. ¿Ready? ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos, Marlon, para terminar todas las preguntas? 15 minutos. Excellent, Marlon. I like, I like that you speak in English, Marlon. Thank you so much. Very good. So we have 15 minutes. Any questions? No. Excellent, Kevin. Muy bien. Vaya conduciendo tranquilamente. Gracias por avisarme. Te voy a meter a un grupo donde puedes estar como oyente hasta que llegues sano a tu casa. Ok. Tranquilo. Thank you very much, Kevin. Así es. Entre comunicación nos entendemos mejor. Ok. Everybody's ready? Any other questions? Hmm. Okay. You have 15 minutes, 12 questions. You can do it. Yes? Lo pueden lograr? Yes or yes? Yes. Woo! Como que no venimos con ánimo, pero yes, let's go. <laughs>
Sorry, teacher, me sacó de la reunión. Está bien, Vane. No hay problema. Vi que había problemas de internet o qué pasó. Sí, sí no sé por qué tengo problemas de inter, pero me sacó. Por eso me volví a meter, pero ya no regresé al grupo. Ok. Ok. No hay problema, Vane. Eh, ¿Y lograste hacer lo de las preguntas? Solamente logramos hacer con what. Y con where. 
Vale. Porque es que estamos más o menos confundidos con el uso del did. Ah, excelente, perfecto. Y, Vane, eh, ¿tuviste oportunidad de ver el video en la plataforma del 1.1? Le soy sincera, no, teacher, porque la verdad es que tengo ahorita a mi hijo con varicela, entonces estoy haciendo un gran esfuerzo por estar aquí, créamelo. No se preocupe, Vane, por eso le pregunté. Eh, ahí siempre está la, la idea de eso, pero le voy a ayudar. Usted tranquila, me alegra y la felicito por hacer el gran esfuerzo de mejorar. Muchas gracias. Ok, vamos a llamar a todos para que regresemos. Ok, ok, teacher. All right, all right, we are back. Yes, ok. So let's, let's practice a little and let me explain. Remember, we use did for actions. Cuando quieres preguntar de una acción. An action, we use did. Cuando quieres preguntar de una profesión, una ubicación, o de una descripción, usamos were. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, yo quiero preguntar, trabajar, estudiar, comer, todos esos. Ah, quiero preguntarlo. Tengo que usar cuál? Were or did? Did. Did. did, excellent, Wendy, you did. Entonces, yo quiero preguntar, ¿dónde comiste? Where did you eat? Right? Um, eh, what did you eat? When did you eat? Why did you eat? Ahí solo tengo que cambiar what, where, when, why, who, which. Ah, y así voy haciendo la pregunta, porque es una acción. Ok. Ahora, si yo quiero preguntar de lugar, de trabajo, de, de ubicación, de profesión o una descripción, voy a usar el where. Por ejemplo, yo, Eric, hey, Eric, yo, yo te vi. Tú, tú me haces bien parecido. ¿Dónde estuviste el domingo? Ah, no es una acción. Es un lugar, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer es ser o estar. Ahí vamos a hacer a ah, where were you? Ok. Eric, where were you on Sunday? Um, I I were I was I was uh, in de los planes de renderos. Ah, ok. Ya ve que él me contestó un lugar, una ubicación. Por eso es que sé que es where, porque no me dijo una acción. Ahora, si yo le pregunto, ¿qué estabas haciendo allí? Cambió el what. Ok, cambió a what, porque ahora quiero saber el qué. Ok, what were you doing? Ahí, ah, uh -huh. I, I do, I do uh, visit the, the Balboa Park. Ok, good. ¿Y cómo decimos visit en el pasado, Marlon? Mm. Se le agrega el ED al final. Excelente. Ahí visited. The pronunciation. Correct, I, I, I visited. Remember. I visited. I visited. Ok. I visited. So, so. Balboa Park. Right, Eric? No. Yes. Yes. Ok. Ahora vamos a ver revisar para estar seguro que está claro para todos. Porque a veces nos confundimos un poquito entre el was y el did, ¿verdad? El where y el did. La diferencia, nuevamente, did es solo para acciones. El where es ser o estar. Estuviste contenta, estuviste triste. Ah, ¿dónde, eh, ¿dónde estabas? Eso es el was y el where. ¿Ok? Vamos a ir viendo los diferentes ejemplos. Vanessa me va a dar con what. Eh, Vanessa Ramírez. 
Vanessa Ramirez con what? Vanessa Carolina. Uh, let's take a look. We're going to go in order. Uh, Vanessa Ramirez with where? Eric with when? Then we're going to have Diana with how? Marlon, which? Wendy, why? Lisette, what? Uh, Monica, where? Mario, when? Kevin, how? Eh, Angelica, which? Creo que mencioné todos. ¿Cuál me dijo a mí? No, alguien. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es a mí? Perdón. Carolina. ¿Sí? Carolina, el caso tuyo era where. Porque, where. Uh -huh, where. Porque Vanessa era what. You ready, Vanessa Ramírez? Serían las dos, teacher. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. Pero me alegra que tenías la esperanza que te dijera que no. Eso te felicito. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Fisher. Yes. Eh, solo una consulta. Which es como decir cuál o algo así. Eh, eso es, exacto. Which es, se refiere a cuál. Es siempre para selecciones o opciones. Ahora, okay. en español, la, lo tenemos como cuál, pero a veces en inglés lo usamos como el, el qué. Uh -huh. Pero siempre es para opción. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, ¿qué película quieres ver? Así lo hablamos, pero la, película, la forma correcta es cuál película si yo te doy la opción. ¿Ok? Pero no te preocupes, Marlene. Ahorita vamos a ver que Mane empieza y ya vamos a llegar a ti. All right, Mane. Okay, the first question is, what did you do today? Correct. And second question is, what, what, what was good in your work? Very good, correct, the two good. Si no tenían ustedes, anoten lo que los van a necesitar para el siguiente proyecto. Dije proyecto, no dije actividad. Así que vayan anotando si no tienen. Vanessa Carolina Rivera Méndez. Uh, Siento como tu papá, pero dale. Ok, go. Bueno, ya. No sé si está bien, papá. It's ok, well, está mal. No hay problema. It's ok. Where, el where era, ¿verdad? Ok, where. Where did you go last night? Excellent. El otro era... Was your profession? No, porque acuérdense que tienen que ser con where. Entonces, oh, where. where did you go last night? Y la segunda pudiera ser, por ejemplo, where were you? Where you? ¿Dónde estuviste? No hay acción, solo cero estar. Ahí sí es como se usa. Where were you? Imagínate tu mami, cuando vos llegas a la una de la mañana, ¿qué te dice? Felicidades. No. Ma, te dice, Vanessa Carolina Rivera Méndez, where were you? <laughs> All right. Eric, go ahead, Eric Ramírez. With uh, Eric, you are when, correct? Yes. Okay, Eric. Uh, when did you learn to drive? Correct. And, and when you were in Brazil? A, a revés, a revés, excelente. When were you in Brazil? When were you? Exactly. Thank you. Excellent. When were you in Brazil? Good. All right. Diana, how? How was the picnic last Sunday? And how did you get the tickets for the concert? Correct. Ah, okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. Good, good question. Te gustan los concerts, huh? Daddy Yankee. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Good, good, Diana. All right. Marlon, okay, is which? Can be, which is the best movie? Batman or Spider-Man? Muy bien, Marlon. Excelente. Solo haceme esa misma pregunta. Y hacémela en el pasado. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> Which usaste? did. No, 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 no. No usaste did. No me vayas a poner did. No lo usaste en tu pregunta original. Usaste is, correcto? ¿Cuál es el pasado yes. de is, man? What is the past of is? Is. Sería. Um, was very good, Vane. Very good. Sería, entonces, which, which was the best movie? Correct. Y así es como se usa el was. Excellent. Con which. Muy bien. Ahora, hacemos una pregunta usando did con which. Which, which did yesterday, your brother? Mm, no. no, acordate que which is cuál, cuál qué. Me puede decir, por ejemplo, okay, cuál traje elegiste, cuál película fuiste, cuál cine, pero which. So, which puede poner algo específico. Which pizza did you buy? Ah, porque hay una opción, ¿verdad? Solo tenemos, en realidad, Pizza Hut, Little Caesar, Papa John, así. Which, ¿ok? Which, uh -huh. eso es. Ok, guys. Muy bien, vamos a pasar ahí. Espero que les ayude un poco y que veamos cómo es que las, o los videos que están en la plataforma nos ayuda. Cuando uno ve los videos antes, uno puede entender un poco más y se le agarra la idea de qué se trata la clase. Y ya no anda, ay, de que estamos diferente. Estas preguntas no las vamos a usar inmediatamente, pero mañana vamos a tener que dar una pequeña presentación de nosotros dando la información a esas preguntas. Por ejemplo, voy a contar una mini biografía de mí. My name is Edwin. I was born in San Vicente. I studied in Cantón Cruz de Camino. I lived in, y así vamos. Vamos a ir utilizando esas como cuando alguien te pregunta, pero para poder nosotros dar una pequeña introducción de nosotros y nuestra biografía, o sea, nuestra vida antes de hoy. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay. Excelente. Me llega, okay. Vane. Gracias por acordarte de usar el símbolo si no tenés la cámara encendida. Muy bien. Thank you, Angélica. Thank you, Kevin. Mónica. Nice. Gracias. Y a todos los que encendieron la cámara, les agradezco mucho. Y a los demás que están usando los símbolos, gracias por ma mantener esa comunicación. ¿Ok? Oh. Eso, Eric. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a nice night. Thank you so much for connecting. I see you tomorrow. Vamos con 1.2, 1.2 in the platform. Okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Good night. teacher. Good night. Bye-bye.